multi-area model is a full-scale spiky neural network model representing all vision-related cortical areas of the macaque monkey. It describes resting state activity and produces the complex pattern of activity we see visualized here. The model exposes the interplay of activity at various scales, from single cells to whole brain areas. The connectivity is resolved at the level of the cortical layer and the network consists of individual point neurons. The underlying network architecture is based on axonal tracing data supplemented by predictive connectomics. This video gives a brief introduction to the code, including how to obtain and update the code, how to install the model, and how to use and adapt the code. For more detailed information about the multi-area model, check out the links in the description. Links to the research articles can be found in the description below. To facilitate future research and ensure reproducibility, we made the entire source code publicly available. With easily accessible code, the model can be used to incorporate newly obtained anatomical data or to investigate the effect of intrinsic neuron properties on the network dynamics, just to name a couple of examples. The code is available on GitHub, a widely used platform for open source collaborative software projects. Here we see the landing page. You could find an extensive README file with all instructions needed to instantiate and run the model. To use this model, you'll need the version control system Git installed on your computer. For installation instructions, see the link in the description. To get a copy of the code on your computer, we have to clone or download the files from the repository. To do so, click on the Clone or Download button and copy the displayed address to your clipboard. Cloning allows you to make use of the version control offered by Git, which has the advantage that it is easy to keep the code up to date. Now let's open a terminal window and create a new project directory. Change into that directory and type the following command in the prompt. This command copies the project files, the Git repository, to your project folder. A subfolder called multi-area model will appear that contains all necessary files. Type git pull in the project directory to get the newest version of the code. Five functionally different modules form the main components of the model. In the model file, the underlying anatomical data are processed and network specifications like layer resolved neuron and synapse numbers are computed. Within the simulation module, the network is set up and simulated. The simulated data can then be analyzed using the analysis module. Finally, a mean field theory based stabilization procedure of the network activity is implemented in the theory module. The file multi area model constitutes an overarching module combining those four sub modules. The multi area model incorporates more than 4 million neurons and 24 billion synapses. To simulate this model efficiently, we rely on the Nest simulator which is optimized to perform large-scale network simulations. To keep the code as accessible as possible, we use the Python interface of Nest. Beyond Nest, the model builds on a number of additional Python packages. These dependencies can be conveniently installed within your Python environment by executing pip install requirements.txt from within the multi-area model directory. In a last step, the code has to be added to the list of known packages. To do so, add the repository to your Python path, like so. To run a simulation, access to a significant amount of computational resources is necessary. Thus, you need a compute cluster to simulate the model. We have provided a configuration template you can use as a starting point to configure your system as needed. Here, we will show an example setup for the Eureka cluster at the Ulich Supercomputing Center. In the file config template, we find an example template for configuration which we can adjust for the current use case. Having finished this setup, it is time to test it. The code is accompanied by a small test suite that can be found in the tests subdirectory. To execute the tests and display the results, run pytest-v from within this directory. You can see how each test runs one after the other. 
If they've all passed, you're good to go. An automated workflow using the tool SnakeMake reproduces all figures from the corresponding papers, based on the simulation output available at the link below. The figure scripts from this workflow might be a convenient starting point for visualizing your own simulation results. Now we are ready to run a small test simulation. In order to avoid having the need for compute cluster, we will downscale the number of neurons and synapses. This causes unrealistic changes in the activity, but provides a nice test case. In one example.py, we find a pre-configured setup for the downscaled version. We can now start the simulation locally. We can see that nest is started first, then a list of parameters is printed. Using mean field theory, the stationary activity of the model is predicted. Congratulations, you have successfully simulated the model. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check out the links in the description. Happy simulating! Thank you.